talk to you about visual thinking. When I was little, like many kids, I loved drawing. Then I realized that what I had in my mind wasn't quite what I actually drew with my hand, and it was very frustrating. Then I quit. Years later, I taught myself to draw. I think I could reach to a certain standard. As you can see, um, I'm happy with my drawing skills. Then I quit because I was bored this time. Then, years later, in a product owner course by Aguilar, I learned about this type of drawing, symbolic drawing, to explain. That was drawing for communication, and I fell in love. I started practicing and developing my own vocabulary, and then I realized that I could make it very, very simple. I just want you to know that if you can write, you can draw. That's all you need. Write an O and a U underneath, an inverted U underneath. And there you have it, a person. Maybe two dots for eyes and that would be it. Simple, right? Want to draw. Because it gets into our brains 60,000 times faster than text or verbal information. Just get it to your visuals. For best results, use a marker that is four times thicker or fatter than your user pen. And especially at the beginning, slow down your handwriting and your drawing up to a fourth of the speed that you would normally use. And of course, the best results would be with a black pen a permanent marker over a white paper. Start slow and practice a lot and you will be very confident with your markers in no time. And one more trick is the lips mean the kiss symbol. They represent keep it simple stupid. We are trying to go for the simplest shape that can communicate a concept in the fastest way. Fast to draw, fast to understand. As we saw before, an O and a U can be a person. And a square and two circles can be a car. Just write down the name of the concept, just to make sure it's understood. You might want to learn to draw the Scrum Master or the stakeholders. You can see it's not hard. You can add eyes and hair too. Now you can draw simple shapes like a tree, but if you add a few bits and concepts, you change to a more sophisticated concept like change of perspective, just with a little touch of imagination. Other concepts like resilience are a little more tricky, and I found the answer on Google. I just Google the image plus the word icon, and I found this. And here are a few icons that you might want to uh, use, like the laptop with the coding sign, a mobile phone, store, the shopper or customer, and even the shopping cart. As you can see, they are very simple lines. It's not complicated, just take some practice. Even groups, or the crowd, or the team, even a running guide to represent the sprint. You can go to the nonproject.com for more images, or Google images with the word, the concept you're looking for, plus the word icon. Another visual tool is the mind map. You get the core of an idea and expand on it. For example, you can have a project and start developing the tree of who is involved in the project, clients, providers, team, why is it relevant, what's in it, what's the benefit, what you're gonna be doing in the project, when you're gonna be doing what, um, how many or how much, the numbers regarding to the project, like the, the cost, 
the teams needed, the time required and everything. And finally, how you're going to be doing your stuff. And you can go and expand these details and have it all in one site. By now, you're, I'm sure you're confident with your drawing skills and you can do prototypes that you can take pictures of and upload to a Marvel app and test by marking different hotspots to navigate between one image to the other. That could be one screen to the next. You can practice and test with users before you go ahead and deliver or start developing. This is the fastest way I can think of and the simplest drawing skills required to gather a user's information before you write any line of code. It will prevent many mistakes and will save developers a lot of time. Finally, you can use your new drawing skills to spice up your retrospectives with the STAR framework that many of you might know, where you draw what you want to have more of, uh, continue to have, but not so much, stop having in the project, maybe have a little less of it, or if you didn't do it, start doing, which is for the best of the project. If by now you're feeling more adventurous and confident, because you've been practicing a lot, you can take your chances and try to draw the sailing boat metaphor with the island and the palm tree that represent the goal where you're heading. The sailing boat, that is you and your team in your project. The anchor that represents what's delaying the team. The rocks that represent the risk involved. And the wind blowing that is giving your impulse. You would cover this area with sticky notes in the team during a retrospective uh, explaining all these issues and you have a visual representation of the core issues of the project. Finally, I just want to invite you to draw more and have fun with it. Be playful and enjoy!